Morning year one. It's Friday and it's also our last day of home learning before you all come back to school on Monday, which we are all so, so excited for. So our last day and let's see what we've got for today. So in maths this week, we have been looking at money and also making the correct amount of money using different coins. But today we're going to be looking at giving change. So sometimes if you go to a shop, you might give the shopkeeper a little bit more money than you need and then the shopkeeper will give you some money back and this is called giving change. So today we are just looking at giving change from 10p. So perhaps someone could be the shopkeeper and someone could be um, buying something and can you see how much change you would give back and complete this little worksheet. So you may use your number bonds to 10 to help you to see how much money you might give back. Or you could use a number line, counting back from 10, seeing how much the item is and seeing how much is left. Or you could do this using um, counters or cubes or something and you could give the shopkeeper 10p and then see how much money they need to give you back, depending on how much the item is. Okay? And in English today, we, I've got a little comprehension for Lula and the Sea Monster. So you know the story really well now. So you can read it um, with a grown-up and fill in the gaps with a word that you think would be suitable. And then on the back, there are some comprehension questions about the story as well. And then in phonics today, we are looking at all the ways we can make that I sound. So can you have a little revisit of these and there is a video for you to watch about this. And we're especially looking today at the Y sound that also makes the I sound at the end of words. So words like sky and cry. So can you have a little look at this and there's some words for you to practice writing and reading. And then finally, in history today, we are continuing with our learning all about the Queen. And today we are going to be learning a little bit more about her life. So there is a PowerPoint for you to watch and read. And then we're going to make a timeline of her life. So we have made a timeline of our um, lives a while ago. So this is when we put the pictures or the events in order of time. And we've got the years at the top as well. So can you cut and stick or you can draw and copy um, these pictures in the correct order to make a timeline of Queen Elizabeth's life? And that is everything for today. And we can't wait to see your work at the end of the day. And then we absolutely cannot wait to see you all on Monday. And a big well done to everyone for all of your hard work throughout this time that we've been home learning. Me and Mr. Chamberlain and Mrs. Schultz are so, so proud of you all. And we will see you on Monday. Bye.